Hello, my name is Marion. In this video, I am going to show you how to use the MRI contrast injector. So this is the injector that I have and it has little knobs at the bottom right here. So in order to use the contrast injector, first you need your syringes. So I will show you how these syringes work because it's different syringes for different ones so and this for this injector so this one is a little bit um, wider or bigger so it's going to fit for the saline and then this one is smaller is going to fit for the contrast so the contrast will be for a it has an a right here you won't be able to see it but it goes right here and then the saline is for b side b so I do, you have to have your supplies. You need the saline bag and then you need your contrast. So I'm going to wipe the top of my contrast bottle with an alcohol prep pad. So I'm just gonna get it like this. And then I am using MRI contrast Dodorum. So now you have to, for this injector, you have to press different buttons to get it to work. So let me back it up some so you can see. Okay. So first you have to press this green button. Well, you can first just screw it on. And then before you have to, um, Put the contrast in you have to press the green button so first we're just screwing on and then it just this part twists inside this part so sometimes you have to rotate and turn it so the black part of this is at the very bottom it has to be at the top in order for us to get contrast to go in or saline so i'm going to hit the green button I hold it down for about three seconds. Push your arrows up. And then this one is going up a little bit slower, but I'm still holding the arrows. And then you want to take off the top like this. Be careful because this is like a pointy part. So it's points, it's gonna stick you so. With this injector, you have to do one at a time. So I'm going to put the tip of this top into this part of the gray part. And just be careful that you do not contaminate it because you just cleaned it. So in order to get the contrast to go in here, for this injector, it's different injectors for MRI and CT, but for this one, you hold down the green button and then you hit the down arrow button right here. And then just make sure you're not getting air in there. There's gonna be, you can't see it, but there's going to be air at the top right here. I'm going to hit the green button again and slowly inject the air out of the bottle, well, out of the syringe. It's gonna go back into the bottle. So you just put this to the side. I like to keep it because on this bottle, it has the lot number. So you want to also record the lot number, especially to know if the contrast is expired or not. And if you have a patient who have a reaction, you will have the lot number and the expiration date to put in the records. Now I'm going to open the saline package. It's like um, this part of the package already broken. So you can tear it right here or from the top, but I'll just tear it from the side. So with the saline, it's two different ones. You have the little brown looking um, tan top or you have the white top. I normally take this top off. When I take this top off, it doesn't leak on me. So you put this part of the saline bag right here and then just keep the bag up. And then I press the green button. Now I'm making it go down into the syringe. And it all depends on what bag you use. I'm using a 100 milliliter saline bag. So you twist the top off. And this part, the 
white plastic part comes off too. Now, in order to give the patient contrast, you still have to attach this tubing. So this tubing is long. I just stretch it out like this. This part, you see how it kind of make a T? So this part of the tubing, I, um, I put it right here. So I put it like this. So this part of the tubing, you have to t um, take out this orange part and then you put it on. I like to put it on my contrast first. It doesn't matter as long as you put it on, but I put it on the contrast first and then screwing it on the saline. And then sometimes it get tangled, so you just want to untangle it. Whenever it's time to make the contrast go in here, the contrast is going to, you want to push the contrast up to this part right here. And then you want to push the saline all the way through. Because if you push the contrast, you're losing contrast that you need to give to the patient. So that's why I always just push the saline through where well, everyone pushed the saline through. No one is pushing the contrast through. And what I mean by that, you have to prime or push air out of the syringes so that the patient does not get air in their bloodstream. And so you're pushing the saline through to push the air all the way through. So it'll come out of here. I normally have this handy um, because the contrast or the saline is going to come out. So I normally have something like this handy. So first, I'm going to press the green button, push some of the contrast up to this blue tip. And then now I'm going to push the saline all the way through. And I know you can't see it going in, but it's going through the tubing. So a little bit of it like dripped out of here. You probably still can't see it. So, and then this is the very important step. A lot of people are not trained to do this or, um, but first you want to screw one of these tops back on there. Let's see. I'm trying to see which one can fit. So I'm screwing this little plastic part back on here. And that's because you don't want to contaminate the part that has to hook up to the patient's IV or they're going to get like an infection in their bloodstream. So this is the very important part. You want to push the injector down, turn it down because it allows air to go out of the tubing. You don't want air going through the tubing, getting in the patient's bloodstream. So. It starts out being up like this, but after you have primed your contrast and saline, turn it down and then it'll look like this. This is how you're going to give the contrast to the patient. And then normally I just loop it. I just loop it like in the cord, like at the bottom. Um, but if you have any questions, you can um, put it in the comment box. I will also put how you can um, work the, the actual injector monitor. So if you hang tight, I'll show you that process as well. So give me one second. Okay, this is how the actual injector monitor looks for you to even give contrast to a patient. So I want this to be set as abdomen because that's what I'm going to do. So I wanna hit recall and it'll bring up all of this information for your study. So. You can pick different ones and it's already programmed to how much, um, how fast you want the contrast to go. You can always change it. So I'm gonna pick liver and that's the preset. And I hit okay to get here. So you can see liver right there. And then if this is how much you wanna give the patient, great. But if you wanna change it, then you can change it. This is showing that this is contrast this is the pre-selected amount of how much is in the syringe, which is 20.7. For your flush, it's saying 90 is in there. So if I want to change the flow rate, you just click in here, and then you just change your number. So 
the flow rate is how fast it's going into the patient's vein. So if the IV is not as great, or I don't think I can push the contrast through as fast, if it's like a smaller gauge, then you can change it. So I change to 1.5, then you hit enter. And then let's say we're giving the patient 16 or 15 milliliters of contrast. You can change this. Then hit enter. And then KVO, if you do not know, I normally start that. So that's going to stand for keep vein open. So if it's off, the, the saline is not going into the patient's um, IV. But if it's on, the saline is going to the, into the patient's IV and it's keeping the vein open. So before you even give the contrast, you have to hit arm. And it said, do you want to, do you wish to confirm that you have checked for the air? Meaning push the air through the tubing like I did and you'll hit yes. And then you see that it's blinking, it's showing that it it is armed. To inject the contrast, you're gonna hit this little trigger button right here. If it flash white, that means it's ready. So um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment box. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you would like to. Thank you all for watching.